trips and whatnot, and there's some automaticness that comes along with that, and that feels good in a way. And most people might be just between like here and here, where you're kind of in a negative state your whole life. You might be a little unhappy at a low level, but not actually feeling living the way you like or something. And people encounter a little bit higher states where they might feel like something is supporting them, or even just a luck streak, which might be an experience of grace. But I'm, on this sort of talk, I want to talk about peak experiences as, to me, they've always felt like a coherence of everything. Like, even if you knew the truth of something, it's like a coherence of your all your cognitive deviations get transcended in a peak experience, and then you learn to live a sort of different way. And um, so, the way that you can live life on this scale, and not so much look at like the analytical things you can deal with, but the degree that which you can say that I literally believe that things will go well, and conjure an optimism in yourself because of information such as this, then you can like uh, start to participate in what's already trying to unravel it. What is in the horizontal? What do you measure in the horizontal? The horizontal. Yeah, the horizontal. Yeah. So this comes from. Uh, they're like vibrational states, okay? So um, the highest vibration being positive three. Yeah, that's, this is vertical. I mean, yeah, what is vertical, horizontal? Horizontal, that's percent of yourself. So yourself is along the whole X spectrum there. But it's saying sometimes you're wrapped up completely in ego downer program thinking where you don't feel any, sorts of, any sort of automatic living mm -hmm. of your life or any compulsion towards growth. And then sometimes you feel just the like automaticness of it. Then you feel like this holy support of it sort of thing. You can feel connected sort of to the divine at like, plus six or something like that. And then plus three, you feel experiences like you are perceiving the universe and the unknowns behind you and like things like things like that. It's uh, so it, even it, in mm -hmm. the highest uh, state, you still could be not totally not. If, if you measure self, mm -hmm. so it means that you could be just partially in the highest. Well, let's say you experience these states transiently. You're not going to be in a holy meditative state all the time. You might be doing your work, and it's good to just feel good about communicating with people. And uh, so it's a thing that you, you live along the spectrum, but you can keep to these positive neutral states mm -hmm. if you mm -hmm. were to know about it. So I'll wrap up in one sec here. That, uh, so basically, I think the peak experience terminology related to that, we can uh, use it to just talk about transpersonal growth. You can say that I feel better than I should, or something like that. And uh, that's an avenue for transpersonal psychology to explore and build frameworks for helping people be extra healthy and driven. So, thank you. Thank you.